In this video, I am going to show you how to find moment of a 3D force using the geometric approach. Why should we learn geometric method for finding out moment of a force? We already know the vector method. Well, as you know, vector method is basically carrying out the cross product of R and F. And the vector algebra is, is just a mathematical tool and it somewhat obscures the physical meaning of the, the concept of moment. You have to merely follow the rules, but the geometric method provides the physical meaning to the concept of moment. And therefore, it is highly advisable that you gain familiarity with this method of finding moment of 3D forces. Okay? Before I turn to this problem, I would like to share with you some inferences that we can draw from this push the door example. The picture that you see here is that of a door which can swing about the vertical axis, the hinge axis, and we apply a force so as to close the door. If you apply a force on the door which is in vertical direction, then you know that the door is not going to rotate. That means the vertical force on the door does not have any moment about this axis. Similarly, if you apply a force which is horizontal and along the plane of the door, that is it intersects this axis, the hinge axis, then also the door will not rotate. In other words, the force F2 also will not have any moment about the hinge axis. However, if you apply a force F3, which is normal to the plane of the door, then this will cause rotation of the door and the door will move and get closed. It will move in this direction and get closed. So out of these two horizontal forces, F3 and F2, only F3 can cause rotation F2 cannot cause any rotation about this axis. So, if we apply a force in an arbitrary direction like this, this force can be resolved into three rectangular components, one vertical and two horizontal, one in a direction intersecting the axis along the plane of the door and one normal to the plane of the door. Then, we know that the vertical and this component will not cause any rotation of the door. Only the force component which is normal to the plane of the door will cause the door to get closed. Okay? So, from this observation, we can infer that a force component that is parallel to any axis has zero moment about the axis. Example here in the above case is that of F1. In general, the moment of a force about any axis is due to the components of the force lying in the plane perpendicular to the axis. So, F2 and F3 can cause moment about this axis because they are in a plane normal to the vertical axis. However, force F2 also does not have any moment about this axis because it intersects the axis and which is the next point. A force component that intersects an axis has zero moment about the axis. The example in the above case is that of F2. So, only the force component F3 of this force will cause the door to get closed and only this component has got any moment about this vertical axis. So, remember these points and they will be used in our solution to the problem using the geometric method. So, first we resolve the force 200 Newton acting at point C of the bracket into its vertical and horizontal components. F i will work out to minus 200 cos 30 that is minus 100 square root 3 Newtons and F z will work out to 200 cos 60 that is equal to 100 Newtons. Also note that this force has no x component because it lies totally in y z plane. 
Now we have to compute the moment of this force about point A. The basic idea in geometric approach is to convert a 3D view into a 2D view so that we can then apply the scalar method of finding out moment of a force. Now how do we convert the 3D view into a 2D view? We will look at the object along the x axis in this direction and what we see is a 2D view which is same as a side view of this object and then we calculate the moment of the components of the force about point A using the scalar method. Next we look at this object from top along the y axis and repeat the exercise of finding the moment of the force components and finally we look at the object along the z axis and again we get a 2D view and we compute the moment of the force components about this point and when we get the moment about the three axis we combine them to get the total moment about this point. So let us see how we go about doing this. This is the 2D view or a side view that we get when we look at the object in this direction. The lower part of the bracket appears like this, the top horizontal section of the bracket appears as a thin strip, the x axis appears like a dot and the point B is at the back. Now we can easily compute the moments of these two components of the force about point A. Essentially we are computing the moment about an axis which is perpendicular to this plane of this figure that is the screen of this computer going through point A. In this figure that axis would be x prime parallel to the x axis but going through point A. This point also is x prime. So the axis A dash x prime appears as a dot and now you can realize that the force component F y intersects this axis A x prime and therefore will cause no moment about this axis. The component F z would have anti-clockwise moment and the moment arm would be 75 mm or 0 0.075 meters. So the magnitude of F z 100 times 0 0.075 would give 7.5 Newton meter and that is positive. That means it is in counterclockwise direction, right? Next we look at this object from top in this direction so that the y axis appears to be hitting our face. We could say this is a top view. The point B A would appear as dot here one over the another. The x axis would appear like this. Let us say the vertical axis going through point A is A y prime. In fact, A y prime is same as the y axis. So, this axis A y prime will also appear as a dot here. The force component F y also will appear as a dot at point C and since the component F y is parallel to this axis, it will not have any moment about the y axis. Only the force component F z which is shown here will have a clockwise moment about this axis, y axis and the moment arm for that would be 60 mm. So since this is clockwise, we will have a minus sign the magnitude of F z is 100. So, minus 100 times 0 0.06 meters would give us minus 6 Newton meter. This is in clockwise direction. Next, we will look at this object along the z axis in this direction. So, that we get a frontal view, a 2D view which will appear like this. This part of the bracket will appear as a strip and even the top part will appear as a horizontal strip. 
the component fz will appear just like a dot we are interested in taking moment about the z prime axis which is going through point a and a z prime axis will appear as a dot so only the component fi will have a moment about this and fz being parallel to this axis will have zero moment and the moment arm for this component would be 60 mm and that will be in clockwise direction so the moment about this axis a z prime which is this axis here would be equal to minus 100 root 3 this is the magnitude of fy and the moment arm is 0.06 meter therefore it will be minus 6 square root 3 newton meter in clockwise direction and now we can combine all these three moments which are along the three rectangular axis and we get the total moment m about point a will be equal to 7.5 i minus 6 j minus 10.39 k newton meter and that is the answer this is the answer so what we have essentially done is converted the 3d view of the object into three 2d views and computed the moment of the two components of the force about the rectangular axis passing through a and having found those moments ma x prime ma y prime and ma z prime we have combined them together to get the total moment ma so we had to draw three sketches to arrive at this result i have also provided a solution using the vector method in which we can simply do cross product of a position vector from a to c with the force vector f and rac is this vector and the force is this vector i am not getting into details and i am sure you are familiar with the cross product of two vectors by now and cross product of these two vectors gives the same result as that we found here so this is just for verification and you can realize that this procedure is purely mathematical in nature and does not provide any physical meaning of the concept of moment therefore it is advisable to practice few problems using the geometric approach and gain familiarity with this method so i hope you will find this very useful and in case you like the video please click on like and subscribe to the channel and in case you have any questions to ask please leave them in the comment section below and i'll be too pleased to answer them thanks for watching and see you next time